Hello, and welcome to another Science Man digital lesson. Today, I want to talk about dialysis tubing and specifically the use of it in osmosis and diffusion experiments. I want to give you some tips on um, the easier preparation of these dialysis tubing baggies and also some tips for uh, collecting better data. Um, so first things first, we have our, our soaked, pre-soaked dialysis tubing and obviously if we want to make a baggie here for an osmosis experiment we have to tie off the ends and uh, what most textbooks will have you do is take this end and uh, tie it off with, uh, with uh, good old-fashioned good old-fashioned string and that actually is um, is a pain and a two-person job and uh, often it's kind of hard to tell um, how uh, how uh, hard to pull the string in order to get a tight fit without actually tearing right through the baggie. So uh, there is a slightly better way and it starts with the with the proper preparation of the end of the bag and just to show this a little better if we um, imagine that this uh, tube of paper is our dialysis tubing what you want to do to prepare the end of the uh, the baggie for tying is is flatten the end of the uh, dialysis tubing and then uh, fold it over. So then you fold it over once and then fold it over again just like that and then take that double folded end and fold it in on itself just like that. Okay? So what you have is a, a double folded end and then it's folded over on itself just like that. So when we do that with our tubing Basically what we're doing is taking that end, folding it over, folding it over again, and then we take that whole double folded end and fold it over on itself, just like that. So when we're holding it, we've got our double folded end just like that. Now we could get our string and they actually make the little clips too for these um, dialysis tubing baggies, but what I find is a nice, very cheap, handy solution are these uh, these zip ties and you can get thousands of these zip ties for for dirt cheap in different sizes uh, so what you can do is is have your zip tie ready uh, with a small loop on it and then just put that loop right over your end of your dialysis tubing where it's folded over and then tighten it like that and bada bing bada boom you've got a really good seal and if you're a neat freak you can even take your your scissors or your clip and then clip off that end and you have a beautiful end sealed on your dialysis tubing. Now at this point we would fill the other end with our test solution um, and then uh, seal that other end with, with again with the recommendation of string or whatever but I'd like to uh, suggest a different approach uh, that's, that's going to yield some better results. So I'm just going to take this uh, dialysis tubing and, and let it soak for a bit and what we're going to do is take a look at a very simple apparatus. What I've got here is a, a small gauge um, rubber stopper and that rubber stopper is going to uh, simply uh, uh, be the same gauge that's going to just roughly fit into the dialysis tubing end and then uh, it's a single hole rubber stopper and into the rubber stopper I've got some plastic hose and this is basically uh, the same type of hose as uh, what would be uh, fish airline tubing. Uh, this hose actually comes with uh, the um, uh, pr uh, electronic pressure sensor. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to insert it into the end of our dialysis tubing. So let's do that. We'll take our dialysis tubing and then we'll get something that we can work over so that we don't make too much of a mess and then all we got to do is have our grab our handy dandy funnel and uh, get that funnel into the end so there's our funnel into the end of our tubing and then we're going to take our test solution. In this case, I've got a strong sugar solution. This is going to be uh, our hypertonic solution that fills this particular baggie. 
and we're just going to load up this baggie right up to the top and, and let it overflow a bit. Now we can remove our funnel and just hold our baggie open at the top. If we squeeze it a tiny bit, it'll open up our end. I'm just going to add a bit more to make sure my baggie is completely full. Then I'm going to take my rubber, to my rubber stopper and just insert it right into the end of the dialysis tubing. Just like that. And slide that right up to the top. Now again, we've got a situation here where a textbook would normally uh, ask you to um, take a piece of string and, and tie that off. Um, but what I'm going to do is stick with my handy dandy um, zip tie method. I've got a slightly uh, bigger zip tie here. So I'm just going to slide that up over the tubing and then over the stopper and then tighten my zip tie. Just like that. And what I end up with is a really beautiful seal around my my baggie. And I can even test that slightly by giving it a slight squeeze. And I can feel that there's no water escaping. I can just get water, a little bit of, of uh, solution coming up the tube with my gentle squeeze. Okay, and then, then again, if I'm a neat nick, I can snip off this excess zip tie material. Just like that. And what I have now is a really beautiful um, uh, dialysis baggie set up where I am ready to insert this into my um, surrounding solution. So we're going to insert this into our surrounding solution now. And what I've got here is a beaker filled with uh, distilled water. So this is going to be our hypotonic solution compared to our hypertonic solution inside the baggie. So I'm just going to gently lower that into the distilled water. And then what I can do is take my tubing and just secure it at the top. I happen to have a, a, uh, a clamp here. So I'll just uh, adjust that slightly so that my tubing is hanging freely. And we can get our tubing set nice and clamped at the top. So my free end here with the uh, with the tubing, I'm going to attach to a, a pressure sensor. So this is a Pasco's barometer. It's exactly the same as uh, Pasco's uh, low pressure sensor. So uh, it will do the job of uh, sensing the pressure change as we have our osmotic gradient having water move into the tubing. And what that'll do is increase the, the, the pressure inside the bag and that'll force uh, water up through the tube. And when that water is pushed up through the tube, it will compress the air inside the tube. So we should be able to get a pressure reading from that. So what we can do is do that right now. Uh, all we need to do is, is connect that, connect this to a computer. Uh, you could use something like uh, the Pasco spark unit. That would work really well. So I'm ready with, uh, to measure pressure with this right now. Uh, all I would have to do is uh, pr plug this into the spark unit and start collecting pressure readings. Uh, but I'm going to take this uh, to a, a full-fledged computer so you can get a better look at the, at the readout. So let's go do that now. Okay, here we are at the computer and we've plugged in and we're going to select our barometric pressure reading and we're going to show that and then we're going to click start and we should get some pressure readings right up right away and at first glance it will look like the pressure is not changing at all but what we're talking about here is very small pressure changes so what we're going to have to do is bring up the um, auto scaling of this graph I'm just going to click auto scale and we will see that right around and this is what the beauty of using a sensor is, is we just wouldn't be able to see these kind of results um, using traditional equipment because these sensors are very sensitive. Um, we're talking about uh, changes in uh, barometric, barometric pressure in, in one hundredths of inches of mercury. But you can clearly see that our pressure is slowly increasing. And that means that 
water from our hypotonic solution is moving into the um, hypertonic baggie and that's causing water to be forced up the tube uh, compressing the air and the pressure sensors um, recording that. So what we have here is a beautiful uh, direct measurement of the uh, osmotic pressure uh, moving from one side of a, a semi-permeable membrane to another. So I really hope you've enjoyed this digital lesson and uh, that you have fun trying some different methods uh, with your dialysis baggie experiments.